Hola guys, happy Saturday. It's been a very strange kind of morning. Oh, let me switch arms. <laughs> I was actually stuck at the post office way longer than I should be. You guys, our dependents, or at least my own, let me turn the air down. Our dependents on Amazon and UPS and all that is kind of ruining, at least for me, how I do things. I stood at the friggin' post office for at least half an hour, totally confused. Had no idea how I was supposed to send this little square package that contained my cell phone in. Was it parcel or was it a large envelope? I'm sitting there Googling like a Nimrod, like a friggin' moron, because I don't know what's what. I had no friggin' idea which bin to put my little envelope in. And I wanted to be absolutely sure that I had record of it without doing certified because I'm not paying extra. Uh, AT&T, not AT&T, uh, the cell phone people had provided the postage paid envelope. But I was so confused, guys. Is this parcel? Is it a large envelope? What if I put it in the wrong slot and it doesn't get there and they charge me $355 for non-returned uh, device fees? And I was just giving myself a headache. So when I finally left there, I decided, let me go across the street to Dollar Tree. Um, just to relax and zen out. I had a little time to kill before um, the AT&T people get here. Uh, so I get to Dollar Tree and I'm looking around and I'm filming a little bit. Y'all know I gravitate towards the purplier ones. Aren't these pretty? But I already have way too much stuff outside. Dollar Tree is showing out. So pretty. Look at these. These are so cool. Little soaps. Sand of my favorite beach. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look at the buoys. Look at these. Oh my gosh. You're killing me, Dollar Tree. Killing me. These are hefty. Those feel good. And then, uh, as usual, I end up with a chatty Kathy wanting to be my friend. I don't know why people approach me so easily. I am convinced I have a resting bee face all the time. But people seem to find or be attracted to me or gravitate towards me that want to chit-chat. And it's usually women, which is fine. And I put it on there for a long, I don't know how many months it stayed on there. One day I came out of my apartment to go somewhere. Gone. That's Maybe terrible. I love my cowboy. <laughs> but I was trying to shop. I was trying to zen out and get a little something something done before I had to come home and sit in this house for whoever knows how long. And y'all know I can't sit still. Y'all, especially on the weekend, y'all know I cannot sit still. Um, so I get to my little shopping around. I had literally just walked in maybe five minutes before and I'm getting all excited about uh, all the new things that it appears Dollar Tree has put out when this happens. Attention all Dollar Tree customers, we're closing the store. Please make your final selection and uh, head up to the front. We have some facility issues, so please make your you final get? selection and head to the front. We will be closing the store in 10 minutes. 
10 minutes we're closing. So, we all rush up to the front. We don't know if it's a bomb threat. We don't know if somebody is sick in the building. We don't know what the heck is going on. So, we make our way to the front of the line and there's one particular employee. I guess he's a manager because I've seen him there before. He's kind of walking around us, kind of walking around us. And I heard him speaking to a lady in the aisle and asking her, hey, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? Today, today only, you can walk out of here with everything you got in your hand right now. Uh, but you got to hurry. You can walk out of here with everything in your hand right now for free. And she was a little confused and he says, we have a situation in the store. Uh, we have to close the store. We're closing the store in 10 minutes. And if you want this, if you want it, I can get you out of here right now, right now. Uh, I'm locking the doors. Nobody's coming in. I'm letting you guys out. So she's like, okay. She had an arm full of like crafty things and decorator things. She was in the $5 aisle. Okay. So I see this. I'm like, I was already in line. I'm like, hmm. So... I walk over to where he is and he says, ma'am, is that all you have? And I only had these. And let me show you what they are uh, since I don't really have a haul. But I had three of these in my hand. These little S hooks because I'm going to attempt to hang my macrame out here somewhere. My little macrame planners. And I had three of the S hooks in my hand. He goes, ma'am, is that all you have? I said, yes, sir. He says, go on, go on. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day on the house. So I walked out with my little S hooks and he's walking around as I'm looking around because people are like catching on. So uh, the big baskets full of things, no, they had to stay in line. But those of us who only had a few little handful of things um, and I noticed he was letting people with kids, like moms with kids, just walk out with these few things. I don't know what was going on at this store, but thank you for my S hooks, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I am home now. Um, I am going to make some chorizo con papas because i'm hungry and i don't want to spend any more money on fast food because we're going to the movies tonight and the snacks are going to take up a whole lot of money i used to go to dollar tree for snacks but there's no dollar tree near the theater we go to now so i had to curb the gutter of it all <laughs> buying my own drinks and, and shoving them in my big purse plus i don't want to be obvious and i've never been embarrassed but i certainly don't want to be embarrassed and have somebody look through my bag and find all of my, my snackalicious. Man, my skin looks terrible. Dang phone, picking it all up. But anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to go in and make some chorizo with uh, papas. Little dude was actually awake this morning when I got up. I got up around 9, I know. Uh, I got up around 9 and maybe 10, 15 minutes later, he's in my bedroom. Hi. So uh, I know he's hungry. I'm going to go in here and make up something to eat. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't know what we're going to get into, but we'll get into something, I'm sure. I wonder if that's AT&T up the street. Look at all the green lusciousness. I know y'all are sick of looking at my green lusciousness, but I'm not. This is a perfect coffee outside morning, but I got stuff to do, okay? Hello, little peppers and little chiles. They survived the night. It dropped down to 50 something last night my little jungle village let's go sneak a peek a loo in the back there's my gazing ball i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with that just yet let me check on my little plants hello little basil good morning good morning basil i guess that's what you call it in spanish heck i don't know hello little ferniliciouses hello my little squashies hello I definitely am doing something in here this weekend. You guys, look at my terrible spray painting job. I spray painted directly to them. Do I hear my doggy friend this morning? Hello, my little doggy friend. Hello. Hello, pretty. Look at my squash leaves. They are growing like crazy in just a few days. Awesomeness, awesomeness. My mint is all perky. Hold on, Papalicious. Oh my gosh, it's the shining. It's the shining dog version. They're so needy. That's why I don't have doggies anymore. But anywho. Hello, little plants. Hello. Okay. Oh, you guys, remember when I told you my friend broke one of my chairs on Easter? Well, I went to Walmart, a couple Walmarts, and I couldn't find the same color. So I ended up in the town over, and their Walmart had them. And you guys, from 1496, 
to clearance of five dollars so instead of just one at fourteen dollars i got two extras and my replacement for fifteen dollars i thought that was stinking awesome these look at here my friend you have got to relax yourself you have got to calm down puppers okay you can't be doing that to yourself no no you can't oh whoa, whoa 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 you're gonna hurt yourself you cannot get so excited. You're going to hurt yourself on this wood. Pretty baby. <sighs> Hello. Hello, my little plants. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're so needy. I am trying to propagate some wisteria. According to the YouTube, this is what I do. And it'll take root and then I'll have little seedlings that I can repoot because this wisteria right here that's actually surviving I'm gonna let it go I'm gonna let it go crazy and if it trails that whole fence if my neighbors want to chop it down okay it's not even my tree I think the little tree is on the other side but it was beginning to canopy over my little babies over here and I didn't want them to be shaded in but it's a nice oh my gosh this dog quit it quit it I don't want to be nasty, little doggy, but you got to chill. Oh my gosh, do y'all see this? The fence is already practically decayed. Oh my gosh, they need to play with this dog, poor baby. I'm starting to feel bad for it. But anyway, back to the wisteria. If I can propagate. If I can. Oh, I feel so bad for that dog, guys. In some of my. I wait, I dropped my things. In some of my lost footage. I remember now that doggy y'all see how friendly he is with me right y'all see how he cries for attention uh, he does me a little bit the same way but in my last footage there were a couple days where we'd gotten used to him being out there and we'd scratch his chin and pat his little head and then there were a couple of days where we'd come out here and he would just sit in the gap he wouldn't do all that that you guys see him doing he would just sit in the gap and I'm like what's going on what's wrong with the doggy maybe he got in trouble maybe his owner i don't know because his owner's a little off his noodle his owner um sometimes argues with the dog so i thought maybe the dog got in trouble and isn't allowed to be petted by us because for two or three days he just sat in that gap and i was like oh gosh i hope he wasn't beat up or something because he was making friends with the neighbor but then no sooner was I thinking the worst than he started that crap again. But yeah, I'm, I feel kind of bad for him. I don't think they pay enough attention to him. And some of you guys were mentioning that in the comments from the other videos I've put the doggy in. I don't think they pay enough attention to him. They have that sweet girl and then they have a more aggressive pit. And I'm not just saying it's aggressive because it's a pit. It's aggressive, okay? It could be a German Shepherd. It could be a Rottweiler. It could be a Chihuahua. It's aggressive. But um... They let that dog out at different times and they do this one. But this one I've noticed here lately has been outside a whole lot longer than usual. But anywho, do y'all see how needy that doggy is? This is why I don't have dogs. They always want to be on you and with you, which is awesome. They're beautiful, awesome little doggies. But I don't have time for all that, okay? A cat wants you to pet it once, twice, be gone. Um great companions but not as needy as a doggy i feel bad for that dog i don't know if he still smells me out here or still hears me but he's still whimpering back there so sad do you see the damage he did to the fence that fence needs to be replaced the people that have lived there in that house have never replaced it the only thing holding up that fence is that wisteria the only thing and the jasmine the jasmine that's uh branching through there and the wisteria if they were to cut off that wisteria tree the whole freaking panel would fall and that doggy done broke that board there was only a hole there now he done broke the board what does he think he's gonna do come over here and be adopted i don't understand now here i feel so bad but anyway i'm going in because i'm hungry and it's 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 upsetting me hearing the doggies upsetting me hmm. hello my precious boopsy hello my baby he do hello my honey muffins he do so guys, I, I, Mao. So I came in here yesterday, right? I had to clear this corner away because this is where AT&T is going to be fiddling around. 
up in here. And this is where I usually have my mirror, my big tall mirror. And I moved it and temporarily leaned it up against this briefcase, this briefcase, this shelf. But now I like the openness over there. I have a lot of crap, okay? Lots of knickknackery, lots happening, okay? And I like the mirror there. But then now that I see it open, I like it open. So now I'm like, maybe I do just need to get rid of some of this extra. This is the little cabinet that I was talking about that houses my movies that I knickknacked. I moved it over here. It was sitting next to this cabinet right here and I moved it because I wanted a spot for my lamp. Here's a mirror for temper for right now. It's right here. I just leaned up against the the little bookshelf that is also getting on my nerves back there. But uh since I have it out, guys, I think I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it. Well, no, I can't. Not this week. It's going to be stinking raining all dang week long. But, um, so I can't spray paint it. But I've been wanting to spray paint it silver, and I just didn't want the hassle of having to go downstairs with it and bringing it back up and blah, 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 blah. So I left it gold. But I really do want it silver. So maybe I'll leave it here for a while after AT&T leaves, and we'll uh, do it silver. But anyway, yes, I'm showing you the lay of the land and all the crap I have. Now, honestly, as cluttered as this is, I love it because I use all of it. Well, not the empty bottles, but I use my little perfumes. These are all my Victoria's Secret. Only Victoria's Secret here. Um, Uh-oh, I think AT&T is here. So it was AT&T. Just setting me up on a online app so I could view all my stuff everything is so techie guys i'm telling you i'm just not the techie type you start talking to me about apps and linking and all this and that i get confused okay i hear white noise but little dude fell asleep again apparently from the time i was at the post office to now he's knocked out um the managed business manager whatever guy just left that was AT&T up the street for me they're due here in the house in about half an hour so I don't think that that's enough time for me to make chorizo con papas without uh, it burning and me having you know to take him upstairs or whatever or wherever he's gonna have to go up in this canton up in this house so I think I'm gonna fry me up some bologna because little dude's asleep but we'll see what we get into I keep saying that, but we'll see. Martin, Martin, are you hungry? Martincito, are you hungry? You want some food? You hungry too? Shall we eat? Yes? Okay, let's go eat. Hola, guys. Happy Sunday. It's another day. Um, I'm exhausted. I don't feel very well, quite honestly. Little dude and I were in the street today, and... I got to feeling real lightheaded. Uh, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary. I did have a um, Philly cheesesteak, but I've had those before, and I do fine. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling off, but it didn't keep me from buying some stuff. You guys, we went to Thrift Town. Because I swear I can be super OCD sometimes. And I had these three tops that I thrifted many moons ago. And they've been sitting in an unmatched um, drawer. Meaning I didn't have any bottoms to go with it. It's just really casual kind of stuff like this that I can wear. Just hanging around the house or puttering around in the yard. But three shirts that I did not have matching bottoms for. And it's just driving me crazy. And yesterday... Uh, when I was kind of moving things around in my room so the AT&T guy would have room to work in here, I came across the shirts. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take these with me to Thrift Town where they have really cute leggings. And I'm going to find matching leggings. I was looking for leggings for these tops just so I can, you know, be comfy and casual in them around the house. Like I'm ever glammed up. But y'all know what I mean. Just kind of lounging, hanging around the house type of stuff. So we did that, and then we went to Thrift Mart. Um, I don't know if I picked up anything at Thrift Mart other than snacks. I got some snacks. A uh, little dude got a bag of random things. Um, 
I don't think we, I don't know. I'll, I'll know when I get back up. Oh, yes, I did. It's right here. It's a little bag. Again, sorry. I'm not, I'm not feeling all there, but I did. I have a little bag right here with two little things I picked up at Thrift Mart. But let me show you guys the bottoms I picked up for these tops. So we're going to start off with this top. Now, it's this really pretty seafoam green little top. I don't know if the color's picking up. It kind of looks white. But it's a seafoam green. Okay. I didn't have anything to match it. But I do now. <laughs> I didn't find leggings. These are like pajama bottoms. They were with the pajamas. Um, there are these little striped jammy bottoms, little, you know, they're probably calf length, but I finally have something to go with the top. So I could throw all that in the wash together. Then I had this navy blue one and I've been wanting to wear this one, but it gives off a super comfy, you know, Hang out in the house vibes. So it's this pretty blue. And I found these little leggings to go with it. Okay. I don't know if these are maternity leggings. Because look, it has the band up here. But who am I kidding? I look like I'm about five months long anyway. So I got these just little um, kind of white bottom legging. But... Look how pretty they look together. Yay! Okay. Did I tell you the prices? Did I show you guys the prices? $4.99. I think all the little leggings or bottoms that I picked up were $4.99. I think the little green ones are too, but now I'm too lazy to reach over there and grab them. And then I had this lovely pink um, top. Okay. 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 And I found these cute little bottoms. Yeah, they were $4.99 as well. These cute little floral bottoms that are going to go so cute. Look, and it is. It's just to hang out, just to lounge around the house, just to bullfart around um, on weekends when little dude is with his dad and I choose to just chill out at home. But isn't that pretty? The pink and the flower with the top. So yay! I was like super geeked out about that. And I currently have a load of brights. I'm, I have a load of brights in the washer and I'm like, you know what? Let me go on ahead and do this bit of the video so that I can get all this stuff um, thrown in the wash with it. So that's that. Um, let me go on ahead and show you the two pieces that I picked up at Thrift Mart. I forgot I even picked up anything non-snack. At Thrift Mart, but hey, while I'm doing laundry, this can go in the brights too. Um, it's a little big, but it's okay. See that? And then it ties in the front in a little knot, so it's a little tie knot in the front, longer in the back kind of situation happening. But I loved the stinking colors. It's pretty green and pink together. And it was only $2.99, so... Now I can rip off tags and put that in the load. And then this one I liked, and y'all know I don't really like to show off my arms, but I like the flow of it, and I could work in the yard in it. I can just bullfart around in it. I liked, let me see, let me stand up so you guys can see. See how it goes down here? Well, see how it kind of hangs long here? See, kind of flounces on the side. I just thought it was nice. Looks really comfy. And it was only $3.99. I don't think Martin feels too good either because he's been super, super crabby since I got home. But that's the clothing. That's that's the, the clothing finds that we found or that I found at the thrift store. I'm going to go ahead and get my... um. Oh! Do you see him? Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these sorted in the laundry baskets downstairs and get my brights my bright load started and then i'll be back because little dude wanted to go to black friday oh my gosh guys oh my gosh it's closet cleaning time for me again okay guys when i tell you it is shoe lovers paradise in here i had to stop and look at this 
it is shoe paradise up in here. There's the one I just bought the other day. But there are shoes everywhere. This is just the beginning. It just goes on and on. And they're kind of unboxed. Some of them are unboxed. But there are so many friggin' shoes and really cute ones too. Okay, so y'all saw all that, right? Well, I kind of want a little cuckoo. Now, I found this. Uh, Diana Ross double feature Mahogany and Lady Sings the Blues, neither of which I've watched. Of course, growing up, I heard about both. Uh, they're referenced a whole lot in the shows I grew up watching, like Good Times and Jefferson, Jefferson's and What's Happening. So I knew about them. I know who Diana Ross is, but I never watched her in movies. So I thought this was awesome, brand new for four bucks. So now I can partake in that awesomeness. I'm about to show you some scary stuff, only because that spot is so good for spooky things. Now this mask I'm gonna show you is definitely a ripoff, but little dude liked it. <laughs> it's a wannabe Michael Myers. I've never seen one with yellow marks on it, but it's a full head of hair, latex wrap. So we figured if we can't make it work, it'll be fun as a decoration in his room. His room is turning out to be quite the Halloween, store looking room but um we have plans i found this neat steering wheel cover uh y'all know the car is red and it has these neat little red um stripies in the leather steering wheel cover i might not like it on there um but i might like it so we'll see I thought that was cool for four bucks. That was a good thing. And then the only other thing is another scary thing. I could not leave this behind, you guys. Um, let me see if I can stand up to show y'all. So it's... Oh, goodness. I hit the ceiling fan. So it's a hanging... <laughs> it's a hanging cocooned corpse okay and you hang it from the ceiling like so so it looks like a person has been cocooned in a spider web and it's a maze balls and I had actually created something similar to this using trash bags and um a plastic skull many many years ago where I was spider queen for Halloween that year and my home was my lair. And I had created all kinds of uh, web-covered corpses, dinner, you know. And uh, when I saw this, I thought it was amazing. So I'm like, oh, I have to have it. Now, it has a little box on it, a little battery pack. Uh, I'm not sure what it was supposed to do. Maybe make sounds or move. I don't know. Uh, but even if I can't uh, make it work, that'll be okay. Just the visual of it is stinking amazing. I thought that was pretty darn cool. Um, so got that. And then I ran, I found this here sitting on the bed. And it was one of the other things that I picked up at a, at a, at Thrift Mart. There are uh, four of these little easels that I like to put my little tiles on. And it was only $1.91 for four. So I thought that was amazing. That was an amazing find for four little easels. So there's that. And now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of it all. Okay. We're going to get into the madness and mayhem that um, befell me. 
at Black Friday. Y'all saw they had all them shoes, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. I I couldn't I couldn't leave these behind. I couldn't. I just I would just have hated myself for leaving awesome four dollar boots and shoes behind. They pretty suede low stack heel. They have like a rubber bottom, rubber ish. So I guess you don't slide all over the place. But look, guys, four stinking dollars. Are you kidding me? No way I was going to leave those behind. Now these I considered putting back because I just did. But then I'm like, no, they're $4. They're kind of cute. So let's go for it. You can mix with black. You can mix with beige. I still have the little... um the little plastic thing inside and the little tissue paper these are all new shoes i don't know where they come from i don't know what website but aren't they cute little suede feel you can tell this is not suede but it's a suede feel a little flat with a little bow so cute and they're all still in their little shoe their little shoe bags and then these particular ones came with the little pads for the back and I think they do that because some of these sizes run different. Like I've noticed, especially there, I wear a size 8 US, but I'll fit a, a size 8 will not fit in some of the shoes they have. I'll try on a size 10 and they do. So it's kind of that type of thing. And I guess they know some of these shoes might not fit US feet. So they provide those type of things. So here's another one. Oh, these are the first ones I found, and that just made me dig all through there. These are so pretty. Look at that. Look at that blue suede booty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. For $4? Are you stinking kidding me? I'm going to keep saying that because I'm just amazed. See? They're new, guys. They come in their little, in their little shoe protectors. Um... And they come in boxes. So yeah. It's like it's like it's like grimas, okay? It's like grimas. All up in there. Now this one I don't even have to open because there it is. And this is how most of them are packaged. Um they want you to know what's inside. But a lot of people will rip the tape off and look because if the size isn't marked here, you have to look at the bottom. But this one I know is a size 8. And I just thought they were cute. They were different. I don't have any white shoes. So I thought that would be pretty. And I like, see how it has a little um, texture here and then it's just smooth pleather. I like that. I like that combo. I thought that was nice. Another one. These are basic, little black flats with the little strap in the back. See? They're so cute. Basic little brand new shoe for four bucks. I know I'm going to stop saying four bucks because y'all already know. This one's heavy. I think I remember what these are. See? Still all new. Yes. These are so stinking pretty. And I wanted some in a burgundy, but I couldn't find my size in the burgundy. It's another pair of boots. Low stack suede feel. They pretty. Four bucks. Oh, shut up, Mel. Shut up. Shut up. They know. They know it's four. But got the little leatherette strap in the back. Lovely. Two more. Now these, they took me back to 
a velvet shirt I had in 1989. Okay, I loved that friggin' shirt. I loved it. And when I saw these shoes, I was like, oh, it looks like the little squiggles that that velvet shirt had on. So these might be like Mel, really? But I loved them. I'm sorry. Gave me mermaid vibes. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. So stinking pretty. I loved them. Absolutely loved them. You could wear this with black. You could wear it with blue. You could wear it with just almost any color. I like the little buckle. So stinking pretty. Where's the top to that? Right here. And then the last ones. Are you trying to get on the bed, fuzzball? Here. There. There. You can get on it. And then the last ones. He's sleeping. He's been out in the street. He knows it's almost bedtime. I love the shimmer of these. And I was like, yes, yes, please. Look at that. I love that. It's not quite silver, but it's not quite copper. It's kind of an in-between. Just lovely little shoe. So, the only other thing, and I do see something back here now that I was sneaking a peek at Martin getting comfy back here. There was one more thing. Uh, and I'm so glad I unrolled this because there were quite a few of them. And some of them were just random little portraits but this one was so stinking cool and i grabbed it and i looked at a few other ones to see but it's my little nephew is my little nephew chocolate is he cute i know cute now really yes so it's this awesome and it's kind of like like it's like plastic, like, like, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, like a blind, like those uh, plastic blinds, but, but not quite plastic. Vinyl? Vinyl. It's kind of like vinyl -y. but I thought he was thinking awesome, and I wish I could have given myself more time to unroll a few more, because what if there had been other scary movie characters in there, but this, this was awesome. I really, really was happy about that and little dude is really happy about that but i think if i sneak a peekaloo that is everything that is everything and we keep going into that store saying we're going to be good but the bargains are amazing and quite honestly i don't have to keep all of these shoes for myself i can um gift them you know they're brand new they're still in their little shoe protector boxes uh the little bags and everything I don't have to be greedy. I can gift. You know, that place is so good for Christmas gifts, hence the name Black Friday. Um, so yeah, there's, if, if you have this type of store in your neighborhood and you haven't gone and checked it out, I would recommend you do. This one actually is, they're starting to create a little more um, control to it. Before it was kind of like the bins at Goodwill. You just let folks add everything and it was kind of all smashed up together but i noticed the last few times we've gone they're streamlining how they um put their little bins out and and it just it's just it flows better and it seems like the people who go there get that feel like oh it's not so crowded it's not so jumbled we're not all up on top of each other they've spread things out a little bit so your attitude okay your shopping attitude gets a little better and you're not all hostile and and just like little ants all over each other so it's been a better shopping experience the last few times we've gone but that is everything you guys that is my i don't know how many days i have on here but that is what i've been up to what we have been up to and i'm super exhausted whatever that was that i was feeling earlier really took it out of me i'm not sure what that was might have been my blood pressure because honestly guys i was feeling very similar to the way I was feeling that day, I ended up in the emergency room and off my feet for three days. Uh, but it did pass. I'm just super exhausted now. I'm not sure. I don't have a blood pressure cuff here. I can check my sugar. My sugar's fine. Um, I thought maybe I had off kiltered myself with the bread on the on the um, Philly cheesesteak I ate. And I did get the large Coke um, instead of water or you know something like I should have gotten so I thought maybe I threw my sugar off but no um I don't know something was just off but it is evening time it is rest time uh 
my little fuzz ball is back there I'm trying to take up the whole bed. Uh, so I'm going to put little dude down. I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to zen out and get ready for Monday because it is Monday in a few hours. So to my next round, I hope you guys had a very relaxing weekend, a fun weekend, a chill weekend, a healing weekend if you needed to heal from anything. So until my next go around, man, I'm exhausted, guys. I'm feeling super, super tired. But anyway, until my next go around, me and Chucklet, Chucky, Charlie, Charles. Hey, I named my car Charlie. Maybe subconsciously I named him Chucky. But anywho, till my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. I knew there was something else. Hold on, you guys. I didn't even tell y'all and I meant to tell y'all. Okay, I'll, I'll broaden the story later on if y'all want me to. But I told you guys my dad had called me and I was going to call him this weekend. You guys, the way it all played out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, I honestly was trying to avoid calling him because I was still nervous to do so. Um, but coincidentally, my brother texted me and and tells me I understand you're not feeling well from your car accident I'm about 10 minutes away I can stop by with some food you know if if um you, you know if you could use some help around the house or whatever and I'm just like oh thank you I'm fine but you are more than welcome my brother doesn't visit my brother is very my brother is a little homebody he prefers to be at home but he was out and about doing something and figured he would come check on on me which was awesome i mean he never visits okay if we bump into each other we bump into each other at my mom's house um and i was like sure that's fine so he comes over he brought all this plethora of amazing food tacos tamales caldo all this food and we sat and had lunch together and i brought up the fact that our dad had called and i asked him if he wouldn't mind um if he felt okay about it if he wouldn't mind being here when I called we could put him on speaker and whatever now mind you guys I don't know if I told you but one of the last few times one of the last times that me and my brother talked about our father he clearly said now this was years ago mind you he said if I ever see him I'd probably whoop his mm. uh and I brought that up I said I remember the last time uh we spoke about him you felt a certain kind of way and I don't want you to feel obligated I was just you know wondering if you wanted to he goes no, I'm a whole 53 years old. You know, I've grown. I've lived. I don't feel that way anymore. I have no hard feelings. So I'm like, okay. So we called him. We talked for about two hours. Me, him, and my brother, little dude, was sitting there listening, getting the whole history and stuff. And long story short, um, he is wanting to put my name on a will. He says he's healthy as a horse. There's nothing wrong with him. He's not dying. He's not sick. But he has no one. His wife did pass. Uh, he acknowledged his wife passed. And he has no... He he understands he has three children. I mean, it was this whole long, drawn-out conversation. He apologized for his mess-ups. And, and I explained to him, no one has ever spoken ill of you in my family. But he said... He wants... To, okay. Okay. We can get into the details later. But, but um, it was easy to talk to him because I don't know him. Okay, and if my brother was okay with it, then I'm okay with it. If my brother could speak to him, considering his history with him, just freely and comfortably, then I'm okay with it. It just made everything better. But apparently, he has continued to pursue his musical career. He's not huge, even though he talks about himself as if though he's a Grammy winning artist he he is very egotistical that has not changed as a matter of fact when my brother came i said just prepare yourself because he may spend the whole friggin entire conversation talking about himself and he did he talked about himself and then he talked about the past and then this and that then he talked about himself again and then told stories from the past and so me and my brother spent a lot of time looking at each other going but also laughing with some of the stories that he told us. So it was it was good. But anyway, I digress. Uh, he has continued on with his music career. But not as a performer. He's a, a music... Per I'm sorry. I'm having a neck moment. He's a lyricist. A songwriter. He's a songwriter. And apparently he's written over 200 songs. Uh, they're all copyrighted in Washington, wherever they need to be copyrighted. Apparently a lot of Tejano singers, Norteño singers, um, singers throughout the country have sang his songs. So there's royalties to his music. And he's been making money. He says, I'm not a rich man. 
uh, but I've continued on with my my profession his music profession and there is money to be distributed there is money to be left to his kids and that's what he wanted to do he wanted to reach out to me and make sure he had my contact information addresses stuff like that because um, I'm supposed to be receiving paperwork from an attorney here soon uh, basically letting me know when your dad passes this will fall into your hands and he said not despreciando meaning not not thinking about your brother or sister but because he said you came first to mind because through all these years you're the only one that reached out to me so when it came to my children I felt you would be more receptive to uh talking to me he said plus it's easier to do it with one person and then want that one person distribute so hey he wants me to spread it among my brother and my sister and of course where there's one where there's three there's one you know of course i would there's no way i'd be like oh mine but he says i'm not a rich man but there is money in royalties there is money in uh he, there's just money that he has and you know, if you didn't pay child support for all these years, whatever, and you want to leave it to us, okay, fine, whatever, that's fine. But that's what that was. Um, there was no mention of any land, even though uh, he does own the land that his little home is on. So I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't care where that's going. But my cousin who gave him my phone number is the one who mentioned, Mel, he has land out in South Texas. And you know, she's the one, I thought that might be what it's about, but he didn't mention anything about any land or his home or anything like that. Um, but yeah, he just wants to let me know here in a few weeks, I should be getting paperwork from an attorney, just basically a living will kind of thing until, uh, basically just listing what I would be receiving. So, you know, okay. So, so that's what that was, but it was he had some of the funniest stories about him and my mom when he and my mom met and when he and my mom were dating and he was just laughing i'm like it's been 50 something years and he was speaking of her in those times like if it was yesterday he was just laughing and having a great time telling the stories and even he said i haven't laughed like this in a long time he's going on a year of being a widower but i don't know I, from what I heard, I'm like, those memories are good for him. You know, the memories of him and my mom dating and all that were good for him. Or because he's a lyricist, he's a poet, he can make it all sound pretty. I don't know. Um, but but that's what that was. And after um, we hung up with him, me and my brother had this whole karaoke session. You guys had this whole karaoke session at my little dining table because my brother sings if you've been with me while you know my brother has a beautiful voice and um we had joked around prior to calling my dad that we should belt a few tunes out just so he knows that he ain't the only singer in the family whatever but it, we didn't we didn't but afterwards after we got off the phone um we started playing around with with uh music and stuff and had a whole karaoke session there at the table and we've agreed that he and i are going to learn this one particular song because we want to sing it for my mom on mother's day uh, i think i think she would really get a kick out of me and my brother duetting her because uh, she really likes when we sing so that's the plan but we were it was an awesome saturday you guys it was such a nice saturday it started off busy uh, and then my brother surprised me by coming over and I think everything happened the way it was supposed to happen Because honestly, I don't think if my brother had come over. I don't think I would have called my dad I really don't I think I would have found an excuse not to because I had already told myself Well, if I don't get it done today, I'll call him Sunday today. So I don't I think it happened the way it was supposed to happen um, But uh, so then afterwards like I said me and my brother hung out for hours just singing and bullfarting and being silly until a little dude was getting anxious very patient very sweet but i had told him that i would take him to the movies to watch dead um evil dead rising uh so we ended up going to the movies we met our friends at the movies and then we came home after the movies and we watched more movies here until about two in the morning and then um they left and this morning i woke up kind of tired and kind of kind of in in some kind of feeling i don't know i think it's because it was overcast and drizzly and I was tired and, and maybe it was whatever that was that I felt earlier was setting in on me, whatever that was. 
was setting in but today turned out good little dude was supposed to go get his hair cut but she was so busy she had three hair dyes and two haircuts men haircuts in front of us so we're like no well, we'll come back in a few hours so that's when we went to black friday and we did our running around and then went back and she still had a hair uh hair dye in the seat and one man waiting for a haircut we're like uh, uh and i wasn't feeling well at this point i was really not feeling well so i'm like we'll just come back during the week so he, he didn't get oops <laughs> my thingy went off he didn't get his haircut today but we'll get his haircut um during the uh week but that's the gist of of the weekend the gist of the dad conversation and all so once again, I hope you guys had a great weekend. And until I see you guys again, I do, I do, I do love y'all bunches. Bye.